what's up guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to set up the multi-system emulator for ios called delta this emulator is now optimized for ipad and all skins will display in full screen so i will be using my ipad 10th gen for this video the systems that delta can play are nes super nes n64 game boy game boy color game boy advance nintendo ds genesis and mega drive now the delta emulator is similar to retro arch meaning it uses built-in already set up cores for each system the difference is delta is way easier to get set up actually there's not even much you have to do Okay, let's go ahead and open the app store and search for Delta Game Emulator. This is what the app will look like and we can go ahead and download. So here we have the Delta Emulator downloaded, but before we open the app, I wanna show you guys how to extract your ROMs because in order for your ROMs to be playable in Delta, they must be extracted. So let's go over to the Files app over to the left under locations go to on my ipad and in here you will find anything you have downloaded so i'm going to go over to my chrome folder and here i have a few roms some nes roms genesis roms ds roms and n64 roms now files downloaded directly from the internet will be in a zip file format to extract these files on iOS is simple. All you wanna do is tap on it. So let's extract Aladdin. All we wanna do is tap on the game and we will get this folder. And if we open the folder, you will see the game file inside. That was a Super Nintendo ROM. The same thing goes for N64 ROM. So we'll do Banjo-Kazooie. This time we got the actual extracted file and not a folder. Now after you extract your ROMs, you no longer need the zip files, so you can go ahead and delete those. So I went ahead and extracted everything, and all games that extracted into a folder, I took the game file out of that folder and moved it directly into this folder. Now we can go ahead and open Delta. And the first thing we're gonna do is add our games to the emulator. So up here in the top right, tap on the plus button. Then select files over to the left under locations i'm going down to on my ipad and remember i have my roms in the chrome folder and just to let you know even if you have all of your roms in one folder it's fine delta will separate your games so i'm going to go ahead and select one of the games and then you can come down here and tap on select all and it will select all of your roms then come up to the top right and tap on open and now all of my games have been added to delta so right now we are viewing my ds games and as you see we do have cover art if we swipe to the left you see some game boy color games my n64 games which don't have cover art if you get any games that don't have cover art then most likely you need to rename the game or you can press and hold on the game go over to change artwork go to games database and you're going to get some options to select for cover art i'll do the second one here and there we are that game now has cover art super nintendo games and my nes games and the same thing here these games need to be renamed so if i press and hold on mike tyson's punch out go to change artwork games database select which one i want and there we go and it looks like i chose the one with japanese writing but that's fine we're not going to worry about that in this video now if you come over to the top left you will see a gear icon this is our settings under controllers for player one as you see right now it says touchscreen but if you have a Bluetooth controller connected to your iPad, then you will find that controller here. In my case, here is my Xbox Series controller. But I'm not gonna connect it yet because I wanna show you guys what the on-screen touch controls look like. Let's go back. And you have quite a few things available here that you can change. I don't recommend changing anything, but if you do, it won't hurt anything, but the emulator runs fine with everything at default settings. 
Now let's go up to done and let's go ahead and load up a game. We can do Metal Slug 7. Now, as you see, when you load up a game, you have this nice overlay that looks really nice, as well as your on-screen touch controls. Even though I don't like to use them, they do look good on Delta. Right now, we are seeing this game in landscape mode. If you take your iPad and turn it portrait, then this is what the emulator will look like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Xbox controller so you see what the difference is. Now let's reload Metal Slug 7. And as you see, now that we are using a controller, we no longer have that overlay. Now let's load up a Nintendo 64 game. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my screen portrait. And this is what it looks like. So as you see, the Delta emulator is very easy to get set up. I mean, it basically sets itself up as long as you have your ROMs in the correct format. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.